Hi guys. Today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how to change your shutter speed. Um, most cameras, most DSLR cameras are different, but shutter speed seems to be pretty standard across the board. So I am using a Nikon D750, but this has been the way that I change my shutter speed on every camera I have owned. I've had all Nikons, but Canons are also similar. So hopefully this will help you with whatever camera you have. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your camera is set to manual mode, which is this dial at the top. You want to make sure that little lever is pointing to the M, which stands for manual mode. Once you have it set on manual mode, all you need to do to change your shutter speed is to scroll the dial on the back. So if you have your finger on the shutter, your hand will naturally, your thumb will naturally fall to this scroll button right here. And if you scroll it, well on my camera settings anyway, if I scroll it to the right, the shutter speed gets faster, so it lets less light in. And if I scroll to the left, the shutter speed is slower and it allows more light in. So another tip is you can set your um, camera to shutter priority, which would be the S on the top of this little dial here. And you can practice playing with your shutter speed and the camera will compensate the other, um, the aperture and the ISO to get a perfect shutter speed every time. One final tip, when setting my shutter speed, I always like to start at 1 over 200. So scroll your little button here until it says 1 over 200. Um, and that for me is a really good place to start. If your photo is too bright, too overexposed, you can scroll to the right to make your increase your shutter speed, making it faster. And if your photo is too dark, you scroll to the left to make your shutter speed slower, allowing more light to come in. One final tip is that you do not want to go below, uh, if, you're, if you set your shutter speed too low, your photo could be blurry because um, it could be lens blur if you're, unless you're using a tripod. So if the shutter's open too long and you're not holding your camera super steady, the photo will come out blurry. So I don't like to go below one over one, well, depends what lens you're using. So right now I have an 85 on, so I would not go, go below one over 85. Even for me, that's too low. I really try not to go below one over 200. So if you set your shutter speed to one over 200, and your photo is too dark, you can try increasing your ISO or increasing your aperture. So hopefully that's a great place for you to start practicing. Let me know if you have any questions and I hope this video was helpful for you. Bye.